is Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And you can support this free service by going to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland. Now, I'd like you to get yourself in a comfortable position. And I realise that you may be listening to this for relaxation purposes. You may be listening to this to reduce stress. You may be listening to this because it's comforting. You may be listening to this for the ASMR tingles that you may get from listening to whispering and softly spoken audios. Whatever the reason you're listening, this is here for you. So the added benefit when you close your eyes you almost hear differently because when you got your eyes closed I mean firstly there's less distraction. smell of your bed, the smell of your bedroom, and you may not be aware of the 
specific smell because you're used to being in that bedroom you're used to being in that bed in that room it might have a smell a certain smell of perfume it might have the smell of uh, maybe a bit of smell of face wipes you may have used before going to bed it may just have your smell we've all got a body that has a lovely aroma as you we've all you know these smells are there however faint that's why it's different you know when you lay down in a bed in a hotel room or in the guest room someone's house that you've never been before something feels different and it's not just physical it's it could be part of that smell and possibly for someone that maybe has problems sleeping in their own bed perhaps sleeping in someone else's bed or in a hotel room a guest room they may fall asleep deeply quicker than normal but on the same side we can start to get used to that trigger from the smell of our own bed to drift off and for our mind to slow down and to know instinctively that it's time to just go to sleep
doesn't mean that every time you walk into your bedroom you're just going to feel like you have to sleep because you may want to go in there to do other things but when you go into your bedroom you can feel comfortable when you go into your bedroom you feel safe when you go into your bedroom you decide to do and if you decide you're going to go to sleep you can lay down on your bed the mattress already knows that it's there to support your body that's the bed's only job is to support your body and the body of whoever else might be in the bed is just there to support the person or persons in or on that bed and the pillows their only job is to support your head unless of course you have them under your legs or your arms you know some people need to do that but the pillows are there to support whatever part of your body you need them to support that is their job and they will do that Without question, your bed will always support your body. Your bed is always there for you. Always ready for you to just go to sleep. That is your bed's job. To support you. To support your body. Whatever you're doing in bed, it's there for you I class my bed as one of my best friends because it's comfortable and it supports me it supports my body and I can spread out and it's nice and I've said in the past going to bed is not all about sleeping it's also about comfort it's also about pleasure the pleasure of lying down on your bed taking the weight of your feet literally taking the weight of your entire body so you haven't got any pressure on your bum because you're not sitting in a chair. You got no your your hands aren't doing anything here, your legs aren't doing anything, your arms or your inner organs are just on automatic anyway. Your mind doesn't even your time and you can enjoy the feeling because if you actually gain pleasure from just lying on your bed then you will fall asleep but if you lie on your bed demanding that you fall asleep and keep having a go at yourself and it's unlikely to happen in the time that you want it will happen if you lie in your bed long enough you'll fall asleep whether you want to or not however if you're enjoying the experience just lying there just being supported by the mattress of your bed your head supported by the pillow just enjoying that feeling of 
physical release because maybe you've it's been a long day possibly perhaps it's been physically you know draining mentally challenging could have been a, you know could have been a great day whatever it was that's no longer important stuff for the waking hours in the same way as when I'm laying in bed when I first lie down in bed I'm not thinking about what I'm going to have for breakfast when I get up in 8 hours time seven hours time it's unimportant at the moment it's very important when it comes to eat breakfast then I won't be thinking about sleeping I'll be thinking about having my breakfast and when I'm in the bath I won't be thinking about having my breakfast I won't be thinking about sleeping I'll be thinking about having a wash and being in a bath just in the same way as when you go to work and you might work in an office you may work in a factory you may work wherever it is it's possibly going to be a specific location for a lot of people and you identify that place, that building, those people that maybe you work with. You are you connect that with a certain emotion, with a certain feeling. That's another trigger. It triggers you to be prepared for the day ahead, ready to get to work and to do your best and have a good day. Maybe it's a trigger to remind you to have a conversation with your work colleague about something that you watched on television at the weekend because you both like watching the same program. It's a different feeling from when you go into the supermarket. Again, it's a different environment, it's a different emotional feeling, it's a different physical feeling connected with going into a supermarket. So when you're home, that again is a different feeling. When you walk through your front door, it's a different feeling, different connections. Course, there's your bedroom. Another different feeling. A room that you connect with pleasure, whether on your own or with someone else. But a sense of pleasure. For example, feeling deeply relaxed is pleasurable. one of the nicest pleasures that we, we can physically experience because it's emotional and physical it reaches those parts of your mind that can release feelings of pleasure that spread all through your body stimulating even more relaxation in every part of your body as well as 
enters your mind. You can even feel that pleasure in, physically in your head, as if it's developing and growing in your head, spreading out the top of your head and down your face, causing you to feel both pleasure and so relaxed and so tired. And let that just spread down your chest, your stomach and your arms and your hands, all the way down your legs to your feet and down your back. That feeling of pleasure, tiredness and sleepiness mixed in with a strong sense of safety, a strong sense of knowing that actually things are going to be okay and things are going to change for the better and you will Say it in your mind and notice how you physically. 